Good morning, students. It is Wednesday, March 25th. We are in the middle now of our first week of fully online teaching. And I want to say to you that you've been doing a good job so far. There's been some bumps in the road and some students have had more struggles than others. But overall, I've been very pleased at the engagement level of the class. We're learning as we go and I'm going to be adapting a few things as we move forward. Um, for today, I want to try to have you submit your practice work through Blackboard rather than sending it to me by email or text message. It worked on Monday, but I got a deluge of messages and it was kind of hard to figure out and make sure I wasn't missing anybody. If you can send it through Blackboard, I've set up an assignment there in today's folder for you to be able to attach your file. If for some reason you can't get that to work, go ahead and send it to me as a text message and I can check them in that way. It seems to be easier for the text messages than it was for the emails in terms of receiving them on my side. If for some reason you cannot send it by text message or through Blackboard, then yes, go ahead and send it to me as an email. Um, but I'm also trying to get some feedback from you guys. So if something's not working, if you can also send me a message to let me know what difficulties you were having so we can figure out if this is something we can troubleshoot and work around or whether I need to adapt to make it so that you can do that work. We have the in-class sessions and I will have the um, Blackboard Collaborate open during those times. But we have not had very many students coming in and the students who did come in there was very minimal interaction between them. Now again, for the ones who were there and who were interacting with each other, I do believe it's useful and I'm going to keep those sessions open. But it doesn't seem to be useful for a lot of students. If it's an issue that you just can't meet at that time, then again, I encourage you to send me messages through email or text message and we can sort of create a string of replies back and forth to each other to answer some of the questions if you have questions on that work. If it's technological issues and you think that we might be able to work through those, contact me and we'll see if we can troubleshoot on some of that. The other thing that I had noticed when I looked at some of the work from the Monday's problems was that some of you seem to be taking the practice videos I have and trying to copy down exactly what I put in the practice videos, or I should say the example videos, as your practice problems. But if you look at the practice problems, they're not exactly the same. These extra problem solving videos were not meant to be a tutorial to walk you through the practice problem step by step, but to do similar problems. So make sure that you are reading the practice problems carefully and asking questions if something is different than it was in the videos so that you know where you need to work on stuff. As always, good communication is going to be the key to succeeding in the online environment. I'm posting this video on YouTube and I suggest for my students that you go ahead and subscribe to me on YouTube so you can see when all the new videos pop up. Some of the videos may be for my physical science class, but most of them are going to be related to the physics class. So if you're one of my physics students, I'd highly recommend you subscribe to my channel so that you can see all the videos there. I'll post a little bit of information in Blackboard, but I'm also just going to recommend that if you have questions, email me. Have a good day. You can do this. I'm here for you, but you've got to ask questions when you run into difficulties.